Shalom Israel, Shalom Shalom. This is Brother Amaziah. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God Yahweh. By Shema Mashiach, Woman like Yahweh Shad. Right, a mighty Shalom to all the brothers, sisters, and children in this truth, magnifying and glorifying Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shad name in these last days. Right, they're serving the Lord with sincerity of heart. They're keeping the commandments. They're staying from the world and the lust and concupiscence that's inside of it, right? And, and they they increasing in this truth, right? They're praying, they're fasting, they're studying, right? They're exhorting their brothers and their sisters, right? They're obtaining knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, right? And I'm going to go into this video on how the Most, God, Most High God has enemies, right? Because if you read this to the Christian church, you know, they say, oh, God loves everyone. How, how could he have enemies, right? He loves the white man. He loves the black man. He loves the Chinese man. He loves the Arab man. He loves all, He loves everybody. And that's what they say. But no, if you go into the scriptures, the most high God has enemies, man. Right? He's not dealing with everybody. Right? The Lord has enemies in this thing. Right? So we're going we gonna to jump into it. We're going to go to the book of Psalms. Book of Psalms, chapter 83. And verse, I'm gonna start at number one, right? Psalms 83 and one. It says, Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, for lo, thine enemies, right? It says enemies. He says, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they have and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Right? So this is David speaking. He said, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Right, they making a a noise right in the city. Right? It says, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head, and it's people that hate the Most High, right? And the Lord doesn't love everybody, and just the same way how the uh, Lord hates everybody. Hey, we don't, we don't, we we um, uh, how the Lord has enemies and, and uh, people hate Him, and we have enemies and people hate us, right? And we look at them like the same way, right? Hey, David even had that mindset. Let me go to that real quick. Because David didn't love everybody. And he said his, his heart was perfect with the Lord. Yeah, Psalms 139 and verse. I'm going to go back to that other precept. Let me just bring this up real quick. Because he said, so like, he said, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Now, so check this out. The book of Psalms, chapter 139 and verse 22. I'm going to start at, I'm going to start at 20. The book of Psalms, chapter 139 and verse 20. It's like, tch. yeah, I'm going to start at 20. For they that speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? A hey, David said, do not, do not I hate those, them that hate thee? Right? So those people that's in Psalms 83 that hate the Lord, a hey, David hate them. And you Christians, you got to deal with that. Hey, David hated people. Right? Let's read on. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am not I grieved with those that rise up against them? It's like you rise up against thee. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Hey, David said, I hate them with a perfect hatred, Lord, because they hate you. Right? And I'm the image of you, so those that hate you, hey, I hate them. Hey, you got to deal. Hey, David hated these people that the Lord counted as his enemies, man. And uh, uh, David counted them as his enemies. All right, let's go back. Look at Psalm chapter 83. And y'all Christians, if y'all watching this video, y'all got to deal with that. Right? David hated. But they say we wrong. They say we just uh, BHIs, Right? Uh, uh, Hebrew Israelism hating and we need love a hey, David hated those that hated the Lord and he counted them as enemies he hated them with a perfect hatred All right let's go back let's go back to Psalms 83 because Psalms chapter 83 and verse number let's start at two again it says for lo thy enemies make a tumult and they that hate thee have lifted up the head they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. And he's talking about the Israelites, right? These other nations, those that hate the Lord, right? Those that are enemies to the Lord, 
right? They took a crafty counsel against the Israelites, right? To figure out how to take them down so that they don't know who they are anymore, right? So they don't know their language no more. So they don't know their God no more. They don't know their heritage no more, right? And they just be destroyed in the mind, right? Like our people is today. So it says, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Now it's finna get into who these people are that's being mentioned. Who are these enemies of God? All right? It says the tabernacles of Edom, the so-called white man. Right? We ain't gonna get into that, but it's the so-called white man. The tabernacles of Edom. And the Ishmaelites, the Arabs, of Moab, the Chinese, and the Hagarines, Gebel, and Ammon, and Amalek, you're Jewish, right, which will still be Edomites. The Philistines, with the inhabitants of Tyre, Ashur also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot, say Lot. Right? So all of these that just mentioned are enemies to God. The other nations. The enemies. And these are the Lord's enemies. David said for low dying enemies. So these are the enemies of the most high. And David hate them that hate uh uh hate uh the most high. Like and the Lord hates. You can read that in the book of Psalms five and five, Psalms eleven and five. Right, Romans nine and thirteen, Sirach ten and uh, ten and seven or ten and six, Sirach twelve and seven. Right, let me get a couple of those. I ain't gonna, I'm, I ain't gonna just quote it. Let me get that real quick. It's the book of Sirach, chapter twelve and verse number six. It says, "For the Most High hated sinners, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly, and keep it them against the mighty day of their punishment." Hey, the, the Most High God hates sinners, man. Right. So the most high God hates. Right? Hold on, let me get a couple more. The book of uh Sirach to the ten and verse number seven. It says, Pride is hateful before God and man, and by both do one commit iniquity. Right? So pride is hateful before the most high. Right? So yes, the Lord hates. I'm gonna get one more. Get two or three witnesses. Book of Psalms, chapter five, and verse. Number, uh, do I want that one? Let me see which one I want. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this one. Book of Psalms, chapter 11 and verse 5. The Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hated. All right, so that's plain. Hey, the Lord hates. All right, so those enemies, that's all the most high. Hey, David hate them. All right? So I'm going to get a couple more. And, hey, hold on. Hey, David was righteous in the most high eyes, man. The Lord, what, what what can you read in the in the word where the Lord said David was off for hating a group of people, right? The other nations. Where was he off? All right, let me get this precept. Because the Lord never said it was off to hate those that hate him, right? And count them as enemies. It's the book of 1 Kings chapter 15 and verse 5. It says, because David did that which was right in the eyes of the Lord. So him hating those people, it was right in the eyes of the Lord. The Lord, you got to show me where the Lord said that that was off. You can't because it's not in there. Hey, because the, you, you got to deal with this, uh, uh, this, this uh, precept right here. He said, because David did which was right in the eyes of the Lord and turned not aside from anything that he commanded him all the days of his life. Save only in the matter of Uriah the Hittite. That's the only part where he went off was with Uriah the Hittite and committed adultery with his wife. But everything else, he did that which was right in the eyes of the Lord. So him hating and him counting them as enemies was righteous because he hated them that hate, he hated those that hated the Most High, right? So all you damn coons. You Christians, you, uh, you bug outs that say we a hate group. Hey, that, that mean David was in a hate group. Right? Got to deal with that. Let me get this real quick. All right, because the Lord has enemies, though. 
The Lord not dealing with everybody. That's why the Lord is going to come back and destroy these nations. Because those are his enemies. Let me get this real quick. In the book of Psalms, chapter 92, and verse number 9, it says, For lo, thine enemies, O Lord, for lo, thine enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. Right? So it says, Thine enemies shall perish. The Lord has enemies. You think all these nations is uh, serving the Most High? These nations not serving the Most High. They going against the Most High, setting up damn uh, homosexuality, pedophilia, uh, just destroying it. everybody. Everything's in captivity. They give nothing to rest. They trying to be like the Most High. Hey, the, these are the enemies of the Most High. Only one that's serving the Most High is the Israelites in these last days. Right? So yes, the Lord the Lord has enemies. All right, let me get another one. I'm pressed on time, so just bring it up. Uh, Book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 19. And it reads, it says, they shall not be ashamed in the evil time and in the days of famine. Is that what I want? Uh, Kai, let me read that again. Book of Psalms, chapter 37, and verse 19. It says, They shall not be ashamed in the evil time and in the days of famine. They shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke. They shall consume away. It says the enemies of the Lord. Hey, they going to consume. Right? So the, hey, the Lord has enemies. And what do you think the Lord is going to do to his enemies? You think he's just going to give them salvation? Deliver them? Hey, the Lord is going to destroy these enemies, man. And hey, he's going to have to put them to death. So that cuts... Your damn rapture doctrine and all you got to do is believe and no, it's action that you got to take behind it. And if you're not taking these actions, you're an enemy to the most high God. All right. I'm going to bring that out too. It's in the book of James. It's a lot here. It's a lot here. New Bible, man. Lock yeah. Damn. God. Book of James, chapter four and verse four, right? Check this out. It says, ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. So if you're a friend of this world, and you're an enemy to the Most High. Because this world, let me get this priest up. I'm going to go back. I'm going to touch back on that point. Uh, Salaki. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 19. It says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. So, hey, the wisdom of this world and the, and the way that this world is ran is foolishness with the Most High. Right? And it's, if you look around, this world is madness. Right? And if you're a friend to this world and you're an enemy to the Most High God, right? And you love the smoke. They're trying to legalize weed everywhere. Why you love to just walk around and smoke weed, right? And you love committing adultery, right? Like they push on these music videos. Women love exposing themselves, killing their babies, right? Because it's, 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 it's the cool thing to do now, right? Women was right. It's my body, my choice, right? You uh, sell, sell some drugs, right? You toting guns with the switch on it, right? Hey, all these things... It's, it's foolishness with the Most High, man. And hey, this world is foolishness. And if you want to be in this world, you want to do the things of the world, hey, you're going to get destroyed, man. 
and you're an enemy to the most high and the Lord's going to destroy his enemies, right? You don't want to turn back to the world, right? And get destroyed. Let me get this precept. Shalakia. Let's see if I can find this precept. Let's take Timothy. Verse 10. Check this out. It says, For demons have forsaken me. Book of 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 10. For demons have forsaken me, having loved this present world. Right? Hey, so this man departed from doing the work. He departed from the man of the Lord, right? And uh, chiefly departed from the Lord, the Most High God, Yahweh. Right? Why? Because he had uh, cares of this present world, right? Have, it, says, it says, having loved this present world, right? And you don't want to love this present world because it's foolishness with the Most High. And the Lord is going to destroy this place. And then you're going to be counted as an enemy. And he's going to have to destroy you. So you don't want to be a part of this world, man. Because the Lord is going to be destroying his enemies, right? And I'm going to bring this last one out in the book of Luke. Then I'm going to close out. So yes, the Lord has enemies. Right, and if you want to be a, if you want to be a, a part of this world, this is what the Lord's gonna do to His enemies, man. You're not gonna make it. I'm gonna just make it plain. You're not gonna make it. If you're an enemy to the Most High, uh, the Book of Luke, chapter 19 and verse number 27, it says, "But those mine enemies, which would not that I shall reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me." And this is red letter. This is Yahweh's side speaking. All right. So if you don't want the Lord to reign over you, or right, you're going to have to keep the commandments, or right, you're going to have to be in order, right? Hey, the Lord said you, uh, you're his enemy, and he's got to slay him, right? And you're going to get slayed before them, right? You're not going to make it, right? You're not going to see the glory in, in, in the kingdom and the blessings that the Lord has for us, right? And you're going to get slain, man. Cause the Lord is gonna be killing uh, uh, these other nations, and this chiefly is for the for uh, for the Israelites, right? You don't want to be an enemy of the Most High because you got this chance to repent. But if you want to have curse of this world and, and partake in the things that the heathen do, like Christmas that's coming around the corner, right? You just took, you just did Thanksgiving, right? You want to accept this homosexuality and 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 the plans that they got for this world, right? You are gonna get destroyed, right? You are gonna get slain. Because the Lord said, let me get this slack here. Let me get it one more. The book of Isaiah. Because those that want to join hand in hand with our enemies, man, are you going to get destroyed, man? But you want to join hand in hand with our enemies for you to be an enemy of the most high. And you got to make that make sense, man. Because this is what the Lord said in the book of Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 15. It says, everyone that is found shall be thus too. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Right? So if you want to join unto your enemies in these last days and have cares of this present world, which is foolishness to the most high, and you're counted as an enemy. Right? And I'm, I'm moving in the spirit of David. I hate them that hate you. I count them my enemies. Right, because you are enemy of the most high. Right? And we're moving in the spirit of our forefathers in these last days. Right? So if you want to get put to death with the enemies, hey, so be it, man. Right? You're just gonna be part of that two thirds. Right? So the Lord has enemies in these last days, right? And the Lord's gonna be destroying his enemies, right, when that time comes. Right. So with that, I'm gonna close out, giving all praises, honor and glory to the most high God, Yahweh, by Shimon Mashiach with Malaki Shah. Lord willing, this was edifying, right? Lord willing you take notes. Lord willing, you stay in the spirit, right? You uh, you are standing from this world, right? You have a, a spiritual mind and not having a carnal mind, right? And um, and you study, man, right? So with that, come Yasharala, Shalom.